Hello and welcome back to a little bit of Calm and Crazy. Today I have a thrift haul to share with you. I am new to the thrifting world and I'm so excited. I'm having so much fun and I can't wait to share with you what I found. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you are here. I hope you will take a moment and introduce yourself in the comments below. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please make sure that you do. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you don't know it, I am on Instagram. It is a little bit of Calm and Crazy over there just like it is here. And let's go ahead and get on into the haul. So I share my haul with you knowing that you will not find exactly what it is that I find, but hoping that I can inspire you to stop into your local thrift store and see what goodies that you can find too. Not only will I share with you what I found, but also how I will be using it. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the haul. So I found this little shelving unit right here. I will be taking off this door and not leaving that on here because that I'm not a big fan of and doing some painting and distressing onto this and using it as part of like a coffee bar, hot chocolate bar, tea bar kind of thing in order to hold some coffee cups, some mugs onto here. I think that will be super cute for something like that. And I'm really excited. Of course, I will be sharing that with you later on on my channel. Item number two that I found was, oh, I should tell you prices. So the really neat thing about the thrift store that I attend is the middle of the month, they always have half off of everything. So I paid $3 for that little shelf. So the second item that I found was this jar. I really liked it. One, that has this cute little metal handle. And two, it has a little bit of a texture around the top of it, as well as that same texture is on the very bottom. You don't necessarily notice the texture on the bottom as much but you do notice the texture on the top as well as this handle. I love having jars on hand for different reasons. A lot of times I will use them in order to put flowers in them. I think they make really pretty vases and I paid just a dollar for this and I think it was unique enough that it was definitely worth a dollar. So the third thing that I picked up was this 12 inch Wilton pan. Now I am finally going to be creating my own three tier tray. And so this will be a part of that. And I paid $1.50 for this because originally it was $3. So that was a good price for this. I also bought this beautiful little box. Now this box was also $3. It does have this drawer that was in that. I think that is super beautiful. It is a solid wood box. Now, I plan to totally redo this, paint it all up, and I think it would be really pretty to put, for me, I will put like the tea bags in it, things like that, things that I will use in my little tea cocoa station because I don't drink coffee. But if you do, and you were gonna do a coffee bar, your K cups and stuff like that would be really great to go in here or any items that you would use along with your coffee bar. So this will be going with that shelving unit that I got as part of that. Um, but I just think it's, it was just really pretty. And so I'm excited about that. Did I mention $3 for that? And the last item in this haul that I picked up was this decorative birdhouse. This actually will be the most work of everything that I got um, because it's not quite my style. I definitely want to paint over it, um, but it does have two different drawers. It's definitely meant to be um, a decorative piece, but I think it'll be really pr pretty for spring decor. So I will be painting this to use for some spring decor. Um, I probably will be popping off these flowers or doing something with it. It needs a knob replacement right here. It has a knob here. So I'll need to do something with that. I paid $2.50 for this, and it'll probably cost me about a dollar to jazz this up a little bit. So overall, I would say that's a really good price to add to some spring decor and definitely make this more of a neutral tone. And once I do that, and then I can add colors around it, I think that will be super pretty. And of course, you will see this in a future DIY as well. And I am so excited. 
That's everything that I have in this haul. Do you enjoy seeing what I find at a thrift store? Do you wanna keep seeing things like this? If you do, let me know in the comments below as well as making sure that you give this video a big thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy this. Again, if you're not subscribed, please make sure that you are so that you don't miss any future videos, especially if you wanna see any of the DIYs that came along with this thrift haul. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.